Before we learn about data frames, we need to take a quick look at the other data object that's created in Pandas, and that data object is series. Series are important because they actually are the thing that uh, the data frames are built out of. A series is a one-dimensional data structure, and it's different from some of the other ones that we've already seen in Python in the fact that it has named elements. In fact, if we look at the details under the hood, we can see that a Panda series are actually built out of NumPy arrays. But NumPy arrays do not allow you to label each of the elements in them. So the additional thing is that uh, these NumPy arrays uh, get an index associated with them. And that index has both a numeric component as well as an actual string label component. And so once you have created a pandas series, then it becomes possible to reference any of the items in the series by either the integer string index, uh, sorry, the integer numeric index or by their string label. The way that you create a series is by instantiating a PD series object, no surprise there. If you um, create this object without assigning uh, a list to it, then it will only have the integer index. But typically, you can assign, you can use a second argument, which is index equals and then a list, and that will assign the items in that list as the labels of the series at the point at which it's created. So you can use a uh, a pandas series to do the vectorize operations in the same way that we saw you could do vectorize operation in NumPy arrays. So let's start off by um, reviewing basic lists. So here are three lists that I've created. Um, if a list is composed of spring, strings, we have to put them inside quotation marks and separate them with commas. Um, if the list is numbers, then we just put a series of numbers separated by columns. So this is sort of an imaginary uh, set of three lists that describes um, it, some typical animals. So we have the names of the animals in the animal list, and then what uh, taxonomic group they belong to in the group list, and the number of legs they have in the legs list. So let's go ahead and run this cell and create those three lists. If we want to create a panda series, the typical a, a typical way of doing this is to take a list and use that as the input into the pd.series uh, instantiation command. So let's go ahead and do this. And we see um, if we tell uh, Python to print the series, um, it lists the items and you can see each one has a number associated with it as its index. If we ask what kind of thing this series is, it says it's a panda core series. Now I mentioned that um, a panda series is built from an ND range. So if we um, ask it to show us the values that are in the series and the index of the series, we see this. So the values of the series we see are a NumPy and D array. Um, so, and they're displayed just like that. But the index is actually a different thing. It's uh, the numeric index is what's called a range index. And it's a lot like the range structure that we saw when we were talking about for loops. So it, is, it indicates um, the starting number, the stopping number, and the step. Uh, typically, we don't mess with this. We just let it be automatically assigned. And so what that means is that the range index is also a zero indexing system because we start counting with zero. And then each item is numbered basically sequentially starting from zero, one, two, three, and so on. So let's go ahead and create another uh, two more series, one for the group and one for the legs and then perform an operation on them. 
So I mentioned that series can be used in vectorized operations. So recall that when we do a vectorized operation, it carries out whatever operation we ask it to do on every item in the series in a pairwise or uh, in a pairwise manner. So if I say to add the group series plus the animal series and put a colon in between them, it will go through and do that for every item in the series. So this is actually um, doing four different concatenation operations on my two series of strings. And then it prints them out with the same index labels as the original series had. If we want to assign labels to the series, as I mentioned in the introduction, we simply pass in as a second argument um, an index equals uh, command. And so what I'm gonna tell it to do now is to create um, two new series, one called uh, labeled groups, another called labeled legs. And those are going to have as their uh, string index, the animal list. So let's go ahead and run that. So we can see that the labels now are being used for the indices instead of the numbers. And so the two series both share the same set of labels since I passed animal list in as to be used as the index for both of them. Also, uh, the printout shows me that the, uh, the type, data type of the um, items in the list is object for strings and integer for the number uh, series. So now if I ask it to print the um, values and the index, uh, once again, the values are NumPy arrays, but now the indices are shown as being strings and they're identified as a type index uh, as opposed to being of type range. <laughs>